What's up guys, Barry here from beats for her and today we're going to look at three different ways to use machine and logic together. First, we'll start by making a little loop. We'll use this Dream On kit from the Crate Cuts machine expansion pack. So we'll use this loop and project throughout the video to showcase three ways to use machine and logic. Now the first way to use machine is as a separate piece of software where we export audio for future imports into logic or whatever DAW you're using. And personally, this is the method that I use the most. Not super basic stuff. You can export your audio in three different ways through the master, as a group, or as a sound. Here we'll export as a master and as a sounds individually. Now when exporting from sounds, you just want to make sure you click the actual sounds or tracks that you're using, otherwise you'll just get empty audio tracks. And the reason I prefer to use this method the most is because it allows me to separate the creation and production aspect of making music versus the mixing and mastering aspect of making music. Now the only thing you really need to know when using this method is where machine saves your audio exports. Now it's as easy as a simple drag and drop. You can also drag in as many audio tracks into Logic as you want. Logic, we can go ahead and start labeling our tracks. There are some people that will argue that this is a very time consuming method, and I agree, it is. But it will really put you in the mindset of committing to your production and start mixing and finalizing your song so you can eventually put it out to the world. Now, in this video, I don't particularly show my step by step process of how I like to mix. But if that's something that you guys are interested in seeing, please leave a comment and I will definitely make a video on it. Now, there are some benefits of using machines arrange windows, such as you can use the hardware to move things around, but I personally like the larger screen and the customization and the movability of different tracks inside of Logic to arrange my song. Alright, so let's pause that and look at the second way on how we can use machine and logic together. So this method, we're going to use it as a software instrument. Now you can either find it in your recent section or in your audio instruments section under native instruments and just click stereo. So it's going to look like any other VST inside of logic. We can go ahead and find the project that we made earlier in this video. 
So we're going to go to the projects tab under the user section and it is right there. Let's just hit solo on the track and make sure this is the correct project. Okay, so in this example, let's make another guitar track to add a B part to our song. We found our guitar. You're gonna now hit record into the machine plugin and start playing your section. Now, of the three methods that I'm showing today, this is the one that I use the least because I personally feel that you're half working inside of Logic and half working inside of Machine. But if it works for you, it works for you. Now, we can do one of two things. We can either import it as a MIDI file. So in the middle right section, on your piano roll, there are those tabs. You can again, just drag and drop. And now we have the MIDI inside of Logic. But let's not use that, let's instead use the audio. So again to the middle, you're gonna click, hold, wait for it to export, and now you just drag and drop. And here we have it, the B section of the guitar part for your song. Lastly, the third way we can use machine and logic together. In this scenario, we're gonna open it as a multi-output, giving us 16 tracks for the 16 different pads on the machine. Now, my advice to you is to do this once, and save it as a template so that you can recall it every time you wanna use this method. The first thing that we have to do is set our outputs. So basically each sound is going to get its own EXT output, meaning it's going to get its own track inside of Logic. The second thing we want to do is set our MIDI inputs. So we're going to set it to host and give each sound its corresponding number. So three to three, two to two, one to one. If this is something that you want me to go more into detail, please let me know in the comments and I will for sure make a future video on this topic. Now, I've done all of these steps for that project that we made earlier in the video. So let's just recall that and go through these last few steps. All right, so the last few things that we need to do is inside of Logic. So since we made it a multi-output instrument, we have 16 auxiliary tracks within this one track inside of Logic that we can open up for our tracks and machine. And now you see, since we did all of that backend stuff inside of the machine, you can see the tracks playing individually inside of Logic. Now, the last step of this method is to get all of our tracks inside of the arrangement window. So we select all of our tracks in our mixer, we right click and we hit create tracks, and you are done. This method is great because it gives you way more flexibility than the previous two. We can drag our MIDI into Logic and work with it that way. Just make sure you're using an empty pattern inside a machine so that you're not hearing your parts twice. Now, when you're exporting the MIDI, it makes empty MIDI tracks inside of Logic, so you can just tidy that up and delete those. Go ahead and do everything that you were doing in method number two in this method. So 
So there we go, that is three ways that we can use machine and logic together. If you learned something, please give me that thumbs up, leave a comment, let me know how I did. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, please subscribe.